Lemmy's real name is Ian Fraser Kilminster, and he was born on the 24th of December 1945 in Stoke-on-Trent. He was the son of a vicar and lived life as loud as he played. He adopted a unique way of singing, which can only be described as looking up towards a towering microphone, tilted downwards towards his weather-beaten face. So bad, baby, I don't care. Legend has it that he was nicknamed Lemmy because of his habit of borrowing money from people to play slot machines. Lend me a fiver, he would say to people. Although Lemmy did say himself that he did not know the true origin of the name. Lemmy's appearance became iconic because of his military influenced fashion sense and his raspy gravelly voice. Read him and weep the dead man's hand again. He was once described as having one of the most recognisable voices in rock music. Lemmy and Motorhead are credited to have started the new wave of British heavy metal and inspired a whole new generation of guitar heavy music. Bands like Judas Priest, Saxon, Iron Maiden, Def Leppard and even Metallica all cite Motorhead as one of their main influences. Lemmy's career in music began in the early 60s with long forgotten bands The Rainmakers, The Rockin' Vickers and The Opal Butterflies. In the late 60s Lemmy became a roadie for Jimi Hendrix and by 1971 became the bass player for space rock band Hawkwind who had a large following with bikers. Lemmy was asked to record the vocals to a track called Silver Machine because Hawkwind's vocalist Robert Colvert was admitted to hospital. The track became a major hit and reached number three in the UK charts. Although the recording was very successful, it stirred up intense animosity among the other members of the band as it was Lemmy singing and not the actual front man of the band. We've made it to Port Vale's football club and this was Lemmy's favourite football team. And I believe there's a blue plaque by the front door or something like that at the stadium. Let's find it! Fraser Lemmy Kilmister, Motorhead founder and singer whose song Ace of Spades has been adopted by Port Vale Football Club, awarded by BBC Radio Stock, British Black Trust. <laughs> In 1975, Lemmy was stopped by customs while travelling in the tour bus on the way to a gig in Canada. He was arrested for carrying drugs, but the charges were later dropped. He was eventually fired from the band and Lemmy regularly said that he was kicked out of the band for doing the wrong kinds of drugs and it was just an excuse to get rid of him. Lemmy decided to form a new band and his initial idea was to call it Bastard. The name was dropped in favour of Motorhead, inspired by the final song he had written for Hawkwind. The classic Motorhead lineup featured guitarist Fast Eddie Clark drummer Phil Filthy Animal Taylor and Lemmy on bass guitar and vocals. Between the years 1977 and 1982, the trio released five classic, bombastic and skull-crushingly loud albums. They were Motorhead, Overkill, Bomber, Ace of Spades and Iron Fist. One of Motorhead's earliest press releases boasted that the band's music was so loud that if they moved in next door, your lawn would die. After the first Motorhead album was released, New Music Express magazine dubbed them the worst band in the world. Their first live performance as Motorhead was in the Roundhouse in London on the 20th of July 1975. Because their sound was like no one else, at that time Motorhead was invited to perform at Top of the Pops in 1978 with Louie Louie, even though the single was only at number 70 in the UK chart. In the summer of 1980, the band were at Jackson Studios in Whitmansworth. So believe it or not, this is approximately the location of what was used to be Jackson Studios. And this is where Lemmy and the boys of Motorhead recorded their famous track, The Ace of Spades. 
Despite the popularity of the song, it only managed to reach number 15 in the UK charts. The track has become an anthem for metalheads all over the world, but Ace of Spades has sealed Motorhead and Lemmy's immortality and will never be forgotten, and the rest is history. Lemmy sadly passed away on the 28th of December 2015. Motorhead's loud and fast style was a pioneering force in heavy metal. And Lemmy's vocal growl, aggressive bass playing, was instantly recognisable. He always delivered straight up balls to the wall rock and roll. This next band are considered to be the godfathers of heavy metal, and that is Black Sabbath, coming up in this next video. <laughs> 